Hello everybody and welcome back to episode number 3 where we're going to be taking on 4 games within this episode. It's going to be Stirling Uni, it's going to be Hearts Reserves and the Scottish Challenge Cup 3rd round. That's going to be a tough game. Then we've got Broxburn Athletic in the South Challenge Cup 2nd round and then we'll finish it off this episode with the Lowland League match against Spartans. So it's going to be a couple of meaty affairs in there and they're going to certainly give us a challenge. But let's roll up our sleeves and get stuck in. So game number one of four of episode number three is Stirling Uni away. We are the favourites here. We have made a couple of wee changes to the squad. I'm going to play Rory Payton here. I'm hoping big uh, Malcolm up top is a target man. Winning balls down to play on to Payton. That's the idea here behind this tactic. Whether or not it'll work, we'll see if there's a partnership that develops. The only thing I'm a wee bit worried about with Malcolm is Matt Sharpness isn't quite up there with the rest of the team. So there is a few of the sort of players that haven't been starting games where the Matt Sharpness is a wee bit low. But we'll deal with that as and when. Uh, and we'll get them sharp. The only way we can get that up is giving them game time. So that that's what we're going to need to maybe rotate some more of those type of boys on. But th this is a game we should be winning in all honesty. And how did how did we not get a goal there? That would have been cheeky right at the start of the game. Here we go for the long throws. What we've been working on. And boom, it pays dividends. And that was it. Connor Bell straight into Davy Proctor. That's why we've been working on those long throws. Just took a few weeks, but we got there in the end. Hopefully we start seeing more goals like that. Where we can turn these long throws into as dangerous as some of the corners that we take. So... Right away, they're not having any shots on target or anything like that, so let's hope it stays that way. And boom, from the corner, Ross Kivana from a Rory Payton corner, over to the far post. It was there free, the defender was close in terms of closing him in, he should have been right on his marker though. So if we keep this sort of result up, we're moving up the second place in the league. But again, we're total domination, they're not having any shots at the minute. They have had one now, but it was off target. Hopefully it stays that way. So we've got Cairns playing it forward. Gibbons tried to find Kivana again there. Adamson. He was on target to be fair. Hopefully we can keep them at bay though. Anytime they come forward. But they have got a couple of tired legs as well. And that was a good goal for Adamson. A good solo goal for Jack Adamson. Jarvis did play it long. But to be fair. Bell won the ball. It then became loose. Proctor basically gave up the chase and Jack Adamson was through and goal to make it 2-1. So that's probably their best effort, or their first real effort I would say, uh, and they, they converted it. So I'm going to go passionate, there's still room for improvement, I believe the boys can do it. If anything I'm going to take Malcolm off in this second half, just to get Brady back on, uh, and hopefully Brady gets back to scoring ways, and then we can look and see who else Maybe needs a wee run out. So Sean Winter right away. His match sharpness is low as well. So we'll bring him on I think. And whilst we're here. It's nearly 60 minute mark. Do we need to make any other changes? Maybe Gibbons. But. We'll just change his role. We'll change them to more defensively. The two in midfield. Because I want them to be winning a battle. And helping out the defence. Uh, so there's a wee bit more structure there defensively because we've got the rest of the guys pushing forward. And it's something again that what we've been working on. David Brownlee's looking a wee bit tired at the back as well. But Kivana picks it up at the halfway line, plays it long. Sean Winter cuts the cross and how did that not go in? The post stopped it and nobody followed it up. So just because of that, I'm just going to try bring somebody on that maybe will follow that up next time. So right away, that's us, and we've got one more sub to do, and we'll bring on, we'll bring on Craig Reid, because again, his match sharpness is a wee bit low, so just getting them these minutes, will certainly maybe get a wee boost. I honestly thought that was going to go in there, that would have been terrible, but it's looking like 2-1-1, are we going to get a goal here? Cairns, Payton, oh, what honestly, he's offside. This is a, a team, the way, the way it's going, I can't be relaxed right at the end of the game because 
they, they were hot on their tail there as well. McGinley better take his time here. He plays it up the left hand side to Kivana. 2 1. I'm happy with that. That's that's basically his back to winning ways, isn't it? So next up is Hearts Reserves in the Challenge Cup. We'll see you there. So welcome back everybody to K Park. We're at home here against Hearts Reserves in the Challenge Cup third round. Hearts are the favourites. They're the away team and they're the favourites. We are 41. But we've saw with the previous sort of reserve teams that we've been quite lucky. The only other things to update you on, Ricky Miller is out for up to two weeks. Obviously, he's got some decent stats there for this level, but we're going to miss out on like, him being available to cover the two centre-backs. The other one, Healy, is now out between five to eight weeks, so he's getting specialist treatment for a torn groin muscle suffered in the, the last win there. I'm bringing Woodsy on behind the striker. We're going back with Brady up top. We're going Winter on the right wing just because Healy's out. We've got Scullion to bring on if need be. There is a couple other boys we can bring on. I want to rest Rory Payton. He has been not really scoring in that. He's not no really been involved as much, I don't think. So it's good good to sometimes just rotate them off, I think. And uh, just let them want to fight for that next game. We are the underdogs here, lads. So let us go out. Do a wee bit of what we've done with the, the last sort of cup magic with the, the previous games, hopefully. But Sean went up, running forward. Hopefully we get through it. Kivana, son. Unlucky. Unlucky. Would say it with the corner in. That's the thing with these reserve games. You never really know what to expect from them. And it could be a, it could be a tough game. We're, we're looking at their team though, there is a couple of tired legs they've got already. They've got the boy Henderson up top, he is actually half decent, do you know what I mean? He's, he's quite pacey as well. They've got Irvin as well in the middle, he's got some really strong stats. Like he, he would be incredible. And they've got Harry Cochrane in the middle of the park, we all know who he is. So there, there's a few quality players they've got in their team. But hopefully they keep their tired legs on, that will certainly help us. I'm not sure of their bench though. But I hopefully we can string this out. Later in the game, I then fancy your chances to come into it. But I, the midfield battle, you would expect them to be winning it. Long ball on, Charleston King. Great save with Matt McGinley. Get in, big man. Safe hands. Charleston King playing it wide. McDonald putting it back to Cochrane in the centre. Moore. Looks like they're going to potentially score here. They're looking decent. Long ball forward again. They've just not got anything in the final third, it looks like. They've they've got it all in the tank in the middle of the park. So it was like quite a, a weird highlight that one was, wasn't it? And more and more of their players are looking tired, so I'm going to go a wee bit aggressive here. Or assertive even. Go back out there and grab a goal to win it. That, that's what we'll do. We'll get the lads fired back up here. There is a couple of players on low ratings for us, but we'll keep them on the now. They're probably just a wee bit error prone, just with the quality that they've been up against. So they've took two of their tired players off, and they've brought on two, well, one of the players they brought on is tired as well, looking. I'm just going to ask the, the lads to demand a wee bit more for them. It is a wee bit of a weird game, there's not much really happening in terms of actual match highlights. Just because it's right at the late of the game, I'm going to Maybe make a couple of wee changes here. You know what, we'll take Sean Winter off instead for Scullion. And we'll also look at maybe taking one of the midfielders off. Do we, do we move Woodsy over to the wing and bring on Rory Payton? I think that's what we'll do. Just so we've got a wee bit of firepower coming in behind the striker again. It's probably going to go against us anyway here with the looks of things. But we've got the changes happening now. Great save, McGinley. If we go through, mate, it's because of you. Safe hands again. This game, you've definitely been the man of the match so far that we've seen. But again, hearts are just edge of the box stuff. They're, they're not really like, penetrating through our defence there. McGinley's definitely man of the match here. And there we go. We're straight into penalty kicks. So... No further ado, we'll let Woodsy, Brady, Cinnamon, Scullion, Peyton. 
think they're the best, and then we'll let Cairns and Brownlee uh, be after that. Doesn't really matter who goes next. Matt McGinley, Proctor, we'll just fill it out just in case it ends up going down that way. But our first penalty shootout, we've got Moore hitting it, he scores 1-0 to Hearts. We've got Woodsy stepping up, keeper saves it. Henderson for Hearts now. Placed it right in the corner, McGinley had no chance. Go on, Brady, son, score it. Get in. Put it over to the left hand side. Harry Cochrane. We sort of wonder kid for Hearts. Scores. Ryan Cinnamon. There you go, son. Hopefully, we pull off a save and a miss here. I, I actually thought that went by the post. But again, we need Scullion to score, and then we need to save, or they, they need to miss it next. And we've missed it. So that is us came crashing out the Challenge Cup. So to be fair, it was a close game. They've won it in penalties. We'll give the lads a team talk. Hold your heads high, lads, because we've done pretty well in the competition. Did anybody predict us to get that far into the, the third round of it? I think we've done pretty well. Uh, we took it to penalties, so we've done ourselves proud at K Park. Let us know in the comments if you think we sort of superseded your own expectations. The board just asked us to be competitive, so they were very happy with what we've done. But let us know in the comments what you thought of that game there. So up next is game week three of episode number three. And we've got East Kilbride versus Broxburn Athletic. We are the favourites. They are 41 outsiders. We've made a couple of changes. I'm just going to put... Uh, would say in the centre mid position, do you know what? I'm going to just have him as a box to box type player. Rory Payton, I want him to be try be a threat here in behind the striker. I'm going to keep Sean Winter on the right wing just to get that match sharpness up. There is a couple other boys we could bring on and help. I have asked them to play with the reserves as well, so hopefully that adds to the match sharpness there. But I, I think. We feel confident this is the South Challenge Cup second round against Broxburn Athletic. We are favourites. I think we should be dominating uh, Broxburn here just with the quality of players. Cinnamon with a long throw. Keeper struggled with it. He did spill it. Cinnamon finds the ball back at his feet. And there's Sean Winter with his first goal of the season. Well done, my man. And we're absolutely battering them down. It's only a minute into the game here. So, maybe this is a competition we should realistically be looking at winning as well. Uh, just with the quality we've got, I think, I think that's something we could probably push to do. But with a cup, you never know. Somebody just might get the lucky day. Look at Hearts uh, in the last round with penalties. And look at our own luck with the, the League Cup, where we gave a couple of decent teams a bit of a, a, bit of a doing. Uh, but I... Hopefully we get a couple more goals here, get the confidence back high, because we, we deserve to be in a, in a higher sort of place, especially with the way the season started. I think we've had we've had a wee blip. Now it's time to press on. I think, uh, but you never know. You never know with the game football manager. You need to save McGinley. That could have been a howler. Grant, Sandman playing forward to Rory. Bell in the left back position, bombing forward. He's not very good at bombing forward there, Bell. But there you go, and Tom Brady gets the ball through for Rudy Payton. So we won the ball back here with that mistake. Rudy Payton picks it up for a Grant Spillage, basically. And then Brady, say no more. He knows where the net is, especially within this career. Or within the game, even. But aye, they're not really challenging is at the back area we're 2-0 against Brockburn at, ha Brockburn at half time I'm happy with how things are going lads keep it going everybody's fitness is looking pretty good their, their own fitness is looking pretty good as well but if we need if needs be we can bring a couple other bodies on maybe at the 75th minute mark just to get match sharpness up on some of the other boys legs oh there we go we've got a penalty here we go Woods get in son Happy with that. His second goal of the season. So two goals for Woods this season. He scored a free kick. And now his next one was for the penalty spot. So I'm happy with that. 
and then what I'll do is I will what I'll do is I'll rotate a couple of the, the lads that need match sharpness on. Because the game being at 3 0, or even if they score here, 3 3 0, do you know what I mean? We may as well just get the lads on. So what we can do is we'll get Liam Scullion on the right wing. And we'll get Reed on at the back. Proctor is looking a wee bit tired, but he could have saw the game out if need be. And then you know what? We'll bring Callum Hall on as well for Dean Cairns. That's what we'll do there. It just changes it up. It means these lads can get on. If we need them, they are then going to be a wee bit sharper. Off the back of that, they just scored a free kick. And it was good. Maybe that's an area we need to work on is free kicks. Because uh, we're conceding a few of them. We probably should have scored there. But 3-1, we're still sitting pretty comfortably. I won't only panic if they score another goal. Uh, but we're still pretty dominant here, I think. Would say whipping it in, we probably should have scored that as well. That was an unlucky effort there. Free kick ourselves, back post. We finding anyone? Nope. Hall just playing it up the wing again. He's just on the park as well, so it's good though. Some of the lads get on, get a wee bit of game time where we were comfortable. That That's the most important bit. But I'm happy with the way that result went. Uh, next up is Sparta. So we've got them, or Spartan, sorry, uh, at home. So we'll welcome them to K Park next. And that's where we'll see you all there. So now we're up against Spartans on game week four of episode number three. Paddy Power have got us at five to four odds on favourites. I'm just going to have a wee nose at the team selection for this game. I've not made any other changes yet. I'm taking Woodsy off for Gibbons though. So we'll go we'll put the two back at support. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it as sort of a standard defensive line is what we've been working on. With a higher line of engagement with the midfield and attackers. So I'm pretty set on that formation. The other wee thing that I'm considering making a change is maybe starting Woodsy in behind the striker again on his advanced playmaker role. Just to keep him out there, we've got Sean Winter still on the right wing. Again, still working on his match sharpness. But I am quite happy to get stuck in against Spartans. The teams are warming up. We're ready to go. It is at K-Park. We should be winning this one comfortably, I'm telling the players. Although, if you look at the t uh, the league table, Spartans is sitting in 10 points at the minute. They are sitting in second place. But we're sitting in six. So we've got a wee bit of chasing to do. But not to worry. I believe in the lads. Woods it, Proctor, Cairns. I thought we were going to get something there. Again, I'm already seeing they've got a couple of tired legs. So the right back area in the centre of the park as well. So maybe that's where the goal will come from. Oh, how did that not go in? Oh, Don will get lucky there in goals. I'm going to tell the players to demand a wee bit more. Can he go wrong with that? All the way back to McGinley. Is he going to play it long? That was a wee bit of a wayward pass, McGinley, mate. Sort it out, Matty boy. Don't be getting me nervous now. Ryan Cinnamon whipping it across. Kivana saw an unlucky... Unlucky. See, we are quite focused. They're overwhelmed with their manager's instructions. Our players are quite focused here. Tam Scobie scoring for Kelty Hearts there. Let me see. You know what? I'm going to go aggressive. I'm not happy with the performance out there. We should be winning this one. I'm going to go a wee bit more attacking here as well. Because I think we should be pushing on. They've already made a change. They've took one of their tired legs off in the middle of the park. Belt thrown it long. O'Donnell came and cleaned it up easy there. Made that look easy to be honest with you. Ashmore, we clear it. Brady playing it back to Ryan Cinnamon. Finds Kavanagh. He's just, we're, we're trying these long range efforts. Which isn't good. Kivana is on a 6.1, he is quite low, we'll give him another couple of minutes. The boys are out there warming up for the bench, they know the score. I, I'm going to have to take him off. After this we one here. Watch this, long ball on him and he'll score, no doubt. Oh no, they score. 
just as well it was offside. So it was Kivana. Do you know what? I'm taking him off the now. Just because we, we deserve a wee bit better up there. You know what? I'm bringing Rory Payton on up there. Uh, just double checking the rest of the team. David Brownlee is looking a wee bit tired as well. So we'll get Craig Reed on. And that'll do the now, I think. Obviously, a Craig Reed that we're bringing on has obviously played for the reserves. So he is a wee bit tired. He's at the same sort of fitness level as the rest of the team here. We're just not getting any luck in their box, are we? Sean Winter. Oh, and there we go, Woodsy. Get in, my man. You are an absolute saviour. That would have been a howler if we drew with Spartans here. Uh, we'd have been dropping more points. So, Winter, straight in. Woodsy, saves the day. Are we going to be able to hold on to this? We've just switched it to positive back for very attacking so if we hold on to this we move up the second place so it shows you how tight the league is at the minute because uh, it is quite early on still but I think we're seeing through Matt McGinley playing it onto the centre backs they go back to their keeper blow the whistle ref <sighs> Brady son are we going to get another wee cheeky goal nah that should be it now surely that'll be it and Tom Brady would say, ah, uh, 1-0, you know what, I'm very happy with that though, because if we look at the table, Kelty Hearts are only three points ahead now, so we have got a wee bit of chasing to do still, but I do believe in the team, it's only a minor blip that we've had in the road, let me know what you think in the comments though, do you think we're doing well, do you think we're going to go on and win that uh, other cup competition, because uh, next we've got in that competition was Dalbeaty Stars who we drew in the third round of the South Challenge Cup. So let me know in the comments what you think of the results here. What do you think uh, going forward? Do you think we're going to be chasing uh, Kelty Hearts all the way now? Because they've got a three point advantage. I'll be interested to, to read what you think as well. But thanks very much. Up next episode we've got Bonnie Rig Rose Athletic, Cross Gates, Dalbeaty Star and Vela leaving as well. So I'll look forward to you all tuning in again and we'll see you all soon. Cheers.